Beloved, let us take a couple of minutes, yield to the Holy Spirit, wait upon the Lord, and then worship Him. Last night in the presence, I asked Jesus, is there any way I can bless your heart? How can I minister to you? And I encourage you to ask the Lord questions. Come into his presence with praise and thanksgiving. But when you have his ear, ask him questions to know how to tend to his heart. We serve a living relational God. By the power of the Holy Spirit, we can have divine insight in how to bless the Lord, how to tend to his heart. So I said, Jesus, how can I bless your heart today? And he said, don't speak about me. Speak to me. Now, I understand he was talking about, not in that moment, but as Christians, we can easily talk about the Lord at church, um, at a discipleship meeting, in small groups, even in a video like this. It's very easy to speak about the Lord. But I felt Jesus saying, I'm wanting a one-on-one -on -one heart connect where you talk to me face to face. Talk to me. And this gets uncomfortable if it's not by the power of the Holy Spirit. Because we're going into deep realms of intimacy. It's face-to-face -face fellowship with God Almighty who is an all-consuming fire of holiness and love. If we yield to the Holy Spirit, He will empower us to seek the face of Christ. And when we have His attention... To minister to him. Speak to him. Speaking about him is very important. But it's the bride who's brought near. That has learned relationally. In faith. How to behold the face of Christ. And speak to him. Through a vulnerable heart. Of, of love and grace and gratitude. But it is easier to speak about him then to him give us this grace i pray holy spirit when the crowd is thinned away may our love before the lord still burn bright may we have words to say in private when we're alone before the presence of god may we be comfortable in the secret place feeling his secret touch Learning how to converse with the God of heaven and earth when nobody is looking. When there's no reward from man. There's no pat on our back for seeking God or praying. When it's just the prize and portion of Him alone. Oh, thank you Lord. Thank you for your presence. I pray strengthen your bride in the secret place. So let us do that right now. Let us ask Holy Spirit to help us find the face of Christ that we may speak to Him in loving worship. I want to read Isaiah 40, starting in verse 28 all the way to the end, verse 31. Have you not known? Have you not heard? The Lord is the everlasting God, the creator of the ends of the earth. He does not faint or grow weary. His understanding is unsearchable. He gives power to the faint. And to him who has no might, he increases his strength. Even youths shall faint and be weary. And young men shall fall exhausted. But they who wait for the Lord shall renew their strength. They shall mount up with wings like eagles. They shall run and not be weary. They shall walk 
and not faint. Thank you, Lord, for your words. Thank you for these eternal words. Right now, Holy Spirit, I pray that you bring forth bread from these sentences, that you unlock truth to our eyes. Show us the face of Christ. Show us truth. Fill us with revelation. We wait upon you. We adore you in the silence before you speak. Glory to the Lamb. Lord, we hunger for your voice. We hunger for your touch. We hunger for the bread that comes down from heaven. Fresh manna from the throne of majesty. Fresh drink from the fountain of life. Lord, we present our hands. We present our hands. Our palms are open. Full, 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 I pray. Fill your bride, I pray. Fill her with revelation that she may be fortified in truth and love in this hour. Yes, Lord, in the wilderness, help us cling close. May we learn how to lean upon the beloved. May we find our strength in him. He who walks the road of impossibility. He who does not grow weary. He who does not faint. He who is full of might. May we find our strength in leaning upon you, our beloved. May we leave this earthly season. May we leave the wilderness leaning upon our beloved. Walking into the age of glory. Lord, our, our weakness is our strength if we are clinging to you and the hope of your return. I love you, Jesus. I love you, Lord. You are the everlasting God. You are the creator of all the earth. You do not faint. You do not grow weary. You have unsearchable understanding but Lord I know that I'm I'm in need I'm weak apart from your presence I find strength because I'm grafted into the glorious mighty vine of Jesus Christ so I pray right now Increase our strength. Increase our, my, our might. Help us not grow weary and faint. Help us abide. All of those comes from abiding. Holy Spirit, continually lead us to the presence of Jesus Christ. Even youth, human strength. It shall fail. It shall faint. It shall be exhausted. For God has called his people upon a road of impossibility. It's a road that must be walked in and through the power of the Spirit. We wait upon you, Yahweh. We wait upon you to renew our strength, supernatural strength that will sustain us and elevate us to the realm where Jesus rules in complete perfection. Jesus, you are the great white eagle. Let us learn how to cling close and be lifted up upon the winds of the spirit. And then soar with the Christ above every inferior earthly power and influence and opinion. 
Let us find ourselves covered in the pinions of the Almighty. Let us find ourselves covered in the wings of El Shaddai. And here we will cling. Here we will hold fast. Here we will dwell in ecstasy and safety within the refuge of our Redeemer, Jesus Christ. This is the realm of soaring. Oh, there is a day, there is a day coming where you will forever renew our strength in the fullness of redemption. We will run, we will run with the righteous King and we will not grow weary. We will not faint for we will have a new body. We will live in his glory. We will drink upon the waters of eternal life. We will be saturated in the satisfaction of the Lord. There is a day of unsearchable, unquenchable, un un understandable <laughs> glory. It's coming. It's coming. We will stand with the God of the ages in the new age. And we will be like him. Lord, give us eyes to see what the resurrection of the dead will be like. Let us understand the hope of glory to which we have been called. But right now, in this wilderness season, where there is still the presence of sin, Holy Spirit, bind the bride to the presence of God. Let us cling to our beloved. Teach us how to lean upon the majesty of Jesus Christ, upon his power, upon his unsearchable ways, upon his everlasting power, might, and strength. Jesus is living in the reality of the age to come. He is in his glorified body. But he's waiting for his bride to be where he is and see his glory. Jesus is living in the fullness of glory. But he sees the day when we will eat of that fruit with him. Father, let them be where I am so that they may behold my glory. Behold my beauty. Drink of my love. Partake of my body. Beside the brooks of bliss, they will live with me and behold my glory for all eternity. Thank you for the promise of you, Jesus. Let me just end with a poem. This poem is on the same topic and I just pray it births Worship right now within your heart to our great God. It's called bow before beauty. Let us mount on eagle wings to where you are. Let us stand before your holy mountain. With heart in hand, the bride cries out, let all bow low before the beauty of the Lord. He who sits in flames on his throne of fire. The God of glory enthroned on the everlasting mountain of grace. Bow low before the beauty of the Lord. Let the saints kiss the feet of he. Jesus Christ, the worthy Lamb of God. Oh, praise the God of our salvation. He who sits on the mercy seat in majestic love. I bless you. I bless you, Yeshua. There is no one like you. And what a privilege it is to worship you. 
What a privilege it is to know that you are our eternal reward and, and, and portion. Oh Jesus, make us a people that are marked by your presence. Make us a people that hunger and thirst for the presence of God. Jesus Christ, I love you, Lord. I love you.